Hello YouTube, this is Daniel. I'm doing an unboxing of a buyer I got from eBay. He also has an online website. Really excited. There should be, I think, 11 frags of Zoanthas in here. I paid, paid for them for $125 overnight shipping. I did buy them off eBay, but um, the colors online look really great, so I'm going to open this up. Shoot y'all another video of what's inside, and then shoot y'all another video after I acclimate everything. Alright, thanks for watching. Actually, I, I just go ahead and do the unboxing one handed. I was going to eat my cereal, but he came in right when I uh, started pouring the bowl. Open this up real quick. I would never recommend using a knife one handed, it is kind of difficult. Oh, this is a really sweet knife. I don't know if anybody else has seen one like this. I just got to show y'all. It's like a double open option. Looks pretty balling. <laughs> it's a Smith & Western knife, if anybody is curious. Doesn't have anything else on it. Had that thing for years. Alright, so far looking so good. Nice and tight. Looks like it got some styrofoam around the edges. Oh yeah. A little heat pack too. That's really nice. Shows that he cares. Just a little like paper towel, I guess, in case anything does leak. A bag. Oh, they're nice and warm still, so I guess that's a really good sign. Should be everything up in here. Um, seems everything's like closely wrapped. So I'm going to open this up. It's a great box. You know, I'm going to do this. I really did wrap that really good. Alright. I'm just going to set the camera down for a second. Actually, I'm going to pause it and then I'll turn it back on. Alright, this is a few seconds after that last video. I um, just got everything out. It was in uh, two big bags and then they're all individually wrapped in these smaller ones. Um, not much water in any of them. So I'm sure that's just to keep the weight down. So, But it does seem like I got some really nice frags and there are a lot of heads on everything. Hopefully nothing died with just this little bit amount of water. I don't know much about the shipping industry and zoos and stuff. So they should be fine, hopefully. But um, I'm going to get these acclimated. And then I'll shoot you guys another video of what colors I have. I kind of wish you would have sent me a description of what should be in here. And maybe, a, maybe even label each bag, you know. But hopefully nothing dies. This one seems really cloudy in here. So I don't know what that really means. This one doesn't look that yummy. All the other ones looking good. So yeah, we'll just see. I feel like it's going to be a bit tricky acclimating these since there's not too much water. But I'll shoot you another video out there. Get them temperature acclimated and regular acclimated. Yeah, this one right here, I'm not sure how this one's going to do. It's got a lot of gunk in there. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. Alright, hello YouTube, this is the final update for my Zoes. Until next week, I'll let you know if everything else opens up by then. Um, trying to get the best quality of the picture right now. We got, first off, we got these right here. They have like a pinkish tint with a light purple on the edge. Got a cool color. Um, these look kind of like just your typical eagle eyes, like red, little purple in the middle, and uh, green on the edges. Back here in the corner, we got the orange ones, kind of like a purple in the middle. I believe these might be my blues he was sending me. He told me he'd send me some blues. Says I usually don't do that in the orders. I believe those might end up being the blues right there. They're starting to open up. Uh, that back one closed. It was open up. I forgot what color it was. But it was kind of open up earlier. The hermit crabs are making us around cleaning them. Kind of got some fire and ice looking ones right there. The ones that they're on top of right now are kind of like a light green, light purplish color. Uh, these are, I don't know what they are. There's some bigger ones. Darker green, maybe like a lightish purple. Uh, these are real cool. They're like a teal color with a uh, kind of like a burgundy-ish edge, maybe a purple edge, whichever 
lighting you'd see that under. Uh, these I'm not seeing anything out of. These are the ones I believe that was uh, nasty in the bag. So hopefully they'll kick out in a few days. Of course I got my Green Bay Packers that I fragged personally right there from uh, a little group that's over here. There, I really like that color, the Green Bay Packers. Of course my Blenny chilling in the rock. <laughs> Funny fish, y'all. Um, got another frag. They look very similar to those back here, so maybe these are fire and ice. If not, they're pretty close, just maybe a little slight variation in the colors. Um, there's some of that green stuff. I also have some up there. Focus. No, it's not going to focus. There's a little bit right there that you can see. I've just got that kind of spread it around the tank. It is growing off this flat frag plug since I ripped some of it off. So it is doing good. These O's right here are like a yellow orange. I do like the color of those a lot. Um, pistol shrimp gobies out, so maybe we can pick those up. Great little uh, pair. Oh, <laughs> I must have scared them. Uh, eagle eye right here. Really great colors. Um, these are more like a. It doesn't pick it up as well on camera, but they're like a light purple in the middle with a yellow tip. Some kind of recordia right there I got going. Torch coral doing great in this tank now. Or as I mentioned, green star pull out. It's got a little red mushroom right there. Up top, temporary, I got that green mushroom and uh, like a cherry red mushroom. Uh, emerald. What are those things called? Uh, Duncan. It's growing a lot of heads. Um, as you can see, I got one, two, three, and there's a smaller head. Can't see it too much because the bigger head is on top of it. If I can zoom in a little bit more, maybe you can see it. But uh, there's a smaller head under that really big head that's starting to come out. Frog spawn is uh, still alive. Getting a little growth out of it now, finally. It still hasn't grown since I originally got it, though. This Duncan over here doing great, as always. One of my favorite corals in the tank. Um, frog spawn is now opening up. It wasn't at first in this tank, but now it's really starting to open up. And also I have some, uh, a lot of, like, Pally's coming out from under here. They've actually grown a ton since I have put them under there because they're not getting much light. I'm starting to wonder if zoanthids will uh, reproduce more under low lighting or Pally's and stuff because those have really taken off. Um, that digi right there, it's not really doing anything. Um, it's not dying, not growing, just kind of staying mutual. Got another recordia right here. I think my uh, pistol shrimp are about to steal that, so I probably will have to move that. Some zoos right there, they're like a light blue in the middle, kind of like a green tip edge. Mushroom over here, don't know how he got here, but it's cool to be there. <laughs> um, bird's nest in the middle it is bleaching out. I think it's slowly dying. Um, I, it might be under too low of lighting for it, maybe. I'm not. 100% sure. I'm slowly taking the light up. It is at 65% uh, white now. And I don't want to go past 80 on whites for sure. I might not even go past 70. So, um, SPS might just not be my thing for this tank. Although this one right here is... It's, it's, it's staying colored. I was worried about it at first. But definitely one of my favorite uh, SPS type things. That I have actually probably one of my only ones, but yeah, it's got some great color on it. It's like a neon blue on the edge, and then kind of like an orangish red centers. Um, whatever this kind of mushroom is, it looks sweet, and it has grown a chat load since I've started it. Of course, I got these green mushrooms. I had them since the nano. They're starting to actually get a lot bigger, a lot more reproducing over there. Yellow polyps. Finally got some good sign. All the heads died except for those two big ones. And looky here. Got a little baby coming off of that one. So I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping the yellow uh, polyps eventually take over that rock again. I hear this is kind of like a hard coral to take care of. But I'm glad to see the little frag coming off now. Or a little polyp. Uh, another blue mushroom up here. Uh blue stronium or something like that I always forget this name got like a galaxy uh, coral right there bubble tip anemone is back here just got that I haven't fed it yet I'm gonna be feeding it brine shrimp 
See how it does that. Clownfish are not hosting it yet. I can kind of get a better shot from it right here, but it's just real small. It's been moving around. These things are a lot faster than I originally thought. I had him over here, and he has done climbed all the way over there, climbed up on this rock, and then went over it. So, uh, really cool. Livestock, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned the last video, my cleaner shrimp is still alive, my blood shrimp is still alive, and pistol shrimp is still alive. I had to put my peppermint shrimp from my nano in here. Uh, he died, not sure why. Just found him dead one morning, took him out. Wasn't the shell, it was actually the shrimp. Bicolor Blenny doing great. My ox clown is doing great. Just my regular uh, common clown's doing great. Goby's doing great. He's a little aggravating feed because they always run back and forth in this hole. And they tunnel it all the way through the middle somehow. And sometimes they come out over here. I really don't understand how they do all that. Oh yeah, and I got a great little Xenia frag. It finally settled down up in there, I believe. Uh, it's a $5 frag, you know, I'm kind of hoping that just almost takes over, not takes over the tank, but fills some dead spots, you know. And if it does get near anything that I don't want it, I'll just rip it out. So I hear that's a really fast coral that grows. Um, I think I named everything other than I got another blue mushroom somehow right here. I don't know how those mushrooms get everywhere. Oh, toadstool. Yeah, toadstool is finally opening up, guys. Must be doing something right in my tank. <laughs> He's doing great. Uh, it's really big. Really love that toadstool, guys. Really interesting. I want to put him somewhere else eventually. I'm just not sure where in the tank. Because I don't want him to give him too much flow from his MB10. Um, as far as the sump. Oh, I took out that big rock since the last time I showed a video. Yeah, I broke that down and uh, put some of the rubble down here. Um, got some power heads to not let the detritus build up down here. And I, of course, got Kimikure Elite, little heater down there. It's really low because my temperature is like stabling at 80, and I don't want it to be that high. Uh, protein skimmer I dumped earlier, but it, it really does build the gunk up. Like, that thing is nasty by the end of the day. Um, I got a temperature thing in here as well. Temperature in here is a little over 80. I'm not liking the temperature I'm getting, so I'm trying to cool it down. I might have to take out one of these power heads in the sun. Um, yep, I put the reef rubble in here from that rock I broke down to kind of get some beneficial bacteria. And also I want to use the rocks to uh, put some zoophrags on later once they grow a bit. Kind of want to start up a little frag tank. I don't know if I will or not, depending on my money, but just in case I do, I got some rocks I would like them to cover down here. I think that is going to be it for this update. I'll gladly answer any comments or questions you have. I'm considering getting another fish for this tank. It's a th about a 30 gallon with a 10 gallon sump. I only have four fish in there, the yellow goby, the bi-blenny, and the two clowns. So if anybody has any recommendations, let me know with my livestock that I have in shrimp. And I, speaking of shrimp, I hope my cleaner shrimp does not get ate up by the anemone or the blood shrimp. I hear that does happen sometimes. And I think I answered everything that I wanted to say in this video. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Y'all have a great day. Bye.